Hi there, my name is Carla and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a year-on-year -year percentage KPI. This will let you compare your values from your previous year to your current year and show you the percentage difference. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. Now I'm using the sample Superstore data set that comes with every single version of Tableau. So this should be available to you as well if you'd like to copy. Now first of all, what we need to do is go over to our sales, right click, create, and then create a calculated field. What we want to do is isolate simply the sales from 2020. So let's call this 2020 sales. Next for our calculation, what we want to do is we want to say if the year of the order date equals 2020, then we want our sales figures. Now, as this is an if statement, we then want to say end at the end. So it makes the calculation valid. Let's press OK. And now we have our sales just for 2020. To make our sales for 2021, we can simply right click on our 2020 sales, then go to duplicate. We can then right click on that copy and then edit. Now, we want to call this 2021 sales. And then change our year of order date from 2020 to 2021. Click OK. Now we have our sales for both the prior year and the current year. We need to create a calculated field to compare the two and give us the percentage difference. So let's go up to our data pane, to our drop down menu on the top right, and then click cre Create Calculated Field. We then want to call this Percentage Difference. Now what we want to do here is we want to do the sum of our 2021 sales. Now I like to do this by taking the calculated field from the data pane and dragging it into my calculated field box. Taking that away from our 2020 sales. The sum of our 2020 sales, sorry. And then dividing that by the sum of our 2020 sales. Now Tableau will say that this calculation is valid. However, because of bod mass, we need to do this first calculation before the division. So let's just wrap this first half in brackets. Click OK. And now we have our percentage difference. Now, let's drag this all onto our text marks card to start creating our KPI. So first, 2021 sales, then 2020 sales, then our percentage difference. As we can see, our number formats here are not correct. First off, our sales figures should be in the form of a currency. So again, let's click on 2020 sales and then shift click on 2021 sales. This will highlight both. Then we can right click on this, go down to default properties and then number format. And that will bring up this box. Here we can select currency custom. And then I'm going to change my decimal places to zero. As you can see, that adds the pound sign onto our sales figures as I'm in the UK. Um, this will default to the currency of your locale. Next, we want to change this decimal at the bottom to a percentage. So we go to our percentage difference calculation, right click, again, default properties, and then number format. We have the same box, but this time we're going to click on percentage. And I'm also going to change this to zero decimal places. So, how do we change this into a KPI? Well, 
we go to our text marks card and then we click on the three little dots this will allow us to configure how our text looks so if we take the 2021 sales and put that first and then put the 2020 sales below it let's make sure this is all centered now we know that our 2021 sales are 20 percent more than our 2020 sales so for this i'm going to go into my windows symbols by pressing windows key and full stop if you're not on a windows machine or you don't have your symbols enabled you can easily find these kind of symbols online next i'm going to find little upwards triangle This is a nice way to show the user that our percentage has gone up. Now let's change our 2021 sales and percentage difference to semi bold. And let's give it a size 18 font. Next, because our percentage difference is up, I'm going to color that in green. And then I'm going to put in normal font a normal size CY in front of our current year sales and PY in front of our prior year sales click apply and you can see how it looks maybe we just want to tone down the percentage difference font size a touch now, as you can see even though we centered it in the text box it's not centered on the sheet so we can go to alignment and center it there. Now see how this looks on the dashboard? I have one set up already. We can simply drag our sheet into the dashboard, right click on the title and hide that. We can then go to fit width and that will center our KPI in the middle of our dashboard. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you feel more confident in creating a year-on-year -year percentage KPI. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to video we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.